Now your Storm Track 7 forecast on KWWL. Good morning and thank you for logging on. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Brandon Libby. Things are going to cool down for today. Your threat tracker in the yellow because we do have a wind advisory that will go into effect this morning and continue through the early evening. It's going to be really windy, obviously, and that'll come with a chance for some isolated showers as well. Tomorrow, not looking bad. We'll get a little more sunshine and temperatures starting to tick back up to the low 50s. And we'll see some slightly warmer temperatures for Saturday, but that will come with a few rain showers. And then things really start to drop off for Easter Sunday as the cool temperatures push back in. And we'll actually have a chance for some snow. Future track here showing the clear start, maybe some cloud cover on the south side of the viewing area. Otherwise, we'll see the clouds pushing in from the north, making our way through the mid morning hours. And those clouds may hold a few flurries, especially north this morning. And as temperatures slowly start to warm up, we'll see those flurries transitioning more into some light rain showers, pretty isolated. It's not going to be a completely overcast day because in between the clouds, we will see some sunshine. And as we make our way through the evening hours, we'll start to lose that energy for the rain and things kind of just dissipate and skies will become clear for tonight and things really start to calm down through the overnight hours. The winds will lighten up just a little bit and then we'll start to see plenty of sunshine for tomorrow before the clouds will increase for Friday night, giving us that chance for rain on Saturday. Overall, your wind forecast showing a sustained wind between 20 and 30 miles per hour and occasionally we could see gusts right around 40 to 45 miles per hour. So it's going to be pretty windy today, but again, the winds start to die down through tonight and becoming a little more manageable for tomorrow, but still in from the northwest, keeping things on the cooler side. Wind advisory in effect for most of eastern Iowa through the early evening as we could see some loose objects uh, getting blown around, difficulty driving, things like that. It's also going to be a cold wind since temperatures will be stuck in the 40s for today, so our wind chills will probably be down into the 20s and 30s overall. Otherwise, again, cold and windy with that chance for some isolated rain showers. For tonight, though, things kind of clear up and we'll start to see our lows dropping down into the 20s. A cold night because that northwest wind continues. It just won't be as strong. But city by city forecast for Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids and Iowa City. We will see a pretty nice day for tomorrow. A lot of sunshine and highs back to the 50s for most of us. Upper 40s for Dubuque. And then for the weekend, Saturday, plenty of rain chances as temperatures warm back up to the mid 50s. And then we start to cool down on Easter Sunday, back down into the 40s and 30s. Parts of our viewing area could see some snow showers and accumulating snow, especially the further northwest you are. Otherwise, generally rain showers. But by Sunday night into Monday, we'll start to see that rain transitioning more into some rain or snow showers and then just straight up snow. And that could accumulate for portions of eastern Iowa. After that, it'll get pretty cold for next week. Highs upper 30s and low 40s with lows in the mid 20s as we really don't see a whole lot of sunshine, mostly cloudy skies for Tuesday and Wednesday.